Hello everyone, Grace from Mental Maths. So today we want to talk a little bit about the predictabilities. Um, say, <clears throat> example, you have a boss. Um, your boss constantly changing his mind. Day one, your boss said, "Hey, Grace, you did a great job. I want to give you a ten thousand dollars spa bonus." You're so excited. Tell everybody, "Oh my gosh, I'm getting a bonus." On、uh, day two, your boss said, "Oh, Grace, you know what? I was too excited yesterday. I then misspoke. It's actually thousand dollars instead of ten thousand." So you're like, "Okay, that's a little disappointing, but it's a mistake." And、uh, okay. Two days later, your dog, your dog, <laughs> your boss calls you in and said, <coughs> "Sorry, Grace. It's you know." I feel bad that I misspoke, so I I made it two thousand instead to try to make you feel better. So you're like, oh, thank you, okay. <clears throat> Couple days later, your boss called you in again, said, "Oh, I'm sorry, Grace. You know the plan changed again. I have decided let's not to give you the bonus this time. How about give you a promotion next month?" At this point, I bet you anything, you're already going through an emotional roller coaster, and you're now you're gonna look at your boss like, really? All right? Can are you gonna trust your boss? Really gonna give you a promotion next month? I bet you anything, gonna have a great doubt about it, right? So what happens is your boss, the image inside of you about your boss is your boss cannot be trusted. You you have like I don't know if I can trust my boss. Because my boss can say this day one, say that day two, and say completely something else on day three. Your boss is unpredictable. Now come to our dogs. Grace, my dog's great, except he's unpredictable sometimes. I don't know. He he's great with some people, but he bark at some other people. Very unpredictable. He's great with the other dog walking, but then he will lunge at the, that dog across the street. So unpredictable. I don't know what those dogs trigger him, how those people trigger him, and why he bark at those people, not that, not, not those people, and why why he growl at these dogs, not that dog. Can you tell me how you fix that? Because my dog is unpredictable. Now, part of it. Is in this scenario we constantly focusing on the say the ninety percent of chance the dog is doing well, or what we proceed as predictable, and then you would say my dog only unpredictable maybe ten percent of chance. <clears throat> However, in reality, if your dog have ten percent chance unpredictable. The possibilities when that ten percent come out is very unpredictable. So you could be doing great, and then two minutes later he beat somebody, right? And then you're like, "Oh my god, I'm so in shock! I didn't know what happened. It's such as caught us to a surprise. It's so unpredictable." But if you go back to really what happened before. What the incident before give you all the clues or red flags? You already know. Oh, my dog is actually、mm, sort of unpredictable, and today somehow I didn't prepare for that. <clears throat> But come back to your boss. We will more than likely will never give that boss the credit on saying, you know, my boss is really good, except that time. He's been plan day one for this, day two for that. No, right? You will be like, you can never trust your boss again. Next time your boss tell you something good, right? Because you can lie. You're sure you you're gonna change your mind next time, right? Or the friend who betrayed you. How long gonna take you to forgive that friend if you're ever able to? And even if you forgive that friend, will you ever trust that friend? The same level of trust you had with that friend before. But come to our dogs. 
somehow we really trust our dogs, and we almost like ignore the dog when the dog's not being well or not being well behaved. We give the dog the credit that, in my opinion, they shouldn't have. If your dog have a tendency to bite, your dog have tendency to harm somebody or other dogs. It's a process, in a sense, for your dog to earn your trust, the predictability that you have in your dog. It's a trust.、Um, in a sense, I would say most of dog owners have、um, what they call unpredictable dogs. They overly trust the dog, hence they don't take necessary precautions to prevent that ten percent to happen. <clears throat> And there's a, another side of the story.、Uh, I'm just gonna talk about most of the dog I work with. They usually being perceived as unpredictable or very aggressive. Now the dog I work with are the dog usually being aggression out of fear or、um, distrust, but basic fear, anxiety, and cause reactivity, aggression. Okay.、Um, <clears throat> from their standing point, if we really see it from dogs' standpoint, is that can the human to be trusted? Are the human predictable? Now, that's why it's really important for when you do training with me. I give you the rules and structures I want you to follow for the dog. It's we creating a pre- predictability. A、predictable environment for the dog, so the dog learn. Okay, my humans' behaviors are predictable. Hence, I can trust my humans. But a lot of humans think they're predictable, right? Or they think the thing they're doing is helping the dog.、Um, either they know it unconsciously or. Sometimes they're being told by unqualified people or trainers.、Um, <clears throat> so what happened to the dog is dogs like, wow, my humans are not predictable. My human will discipline me today. Next time they told me it's okay to do the same thing I wasn't able to do yesterday, and then tomorrow I try to do it again. My dad met me again,、uh, so that become unpredictable. And that create distrust, right? So the consistency from human gonna create more predictable environment for the dog, so the dog can have trust to the human, vice versa. And once your dog learn to trust human, you gonna see is your dog become more predictable, because you set a、um, parameter of the environment that you know. The parameter of it, so it's very predictable in the environment, and then you have your dog there, so your dog's behavior become more predictable to you. And while it's not like a straight mathematics formula or a black and white situation, if you can create this as as controlled as possible environment with very few variables, and help your dog to be very predictable and successful. That's the word I like to use. Set your dog up to success. If your dog can be really successful in this controlled environment, then we're gonna start adding in more vari-、uh, variables that basically add distractions, make it a little more difficult for the dog, and to see how your dog able to handle those. But for beginning, we have to really create this environment. The environment that、uh, predictable for both our human as well as for the dog, so then we can create a trust between the human and the dog, and then the bonding, right, and then the confident in the dog because the dog learn the consistency, dog learn the predictability, and that predict predictability produces trust from the dog to human. Okay, so this is a topic we want to talk about. 
and uh, hopefully it's helpful to you guys. Bye, guys.